Hello everybody, Tyron Cannon here and welcome back to another episode of my Shane Warne Cricket Career Mode. Today we are picking up from where we left off in the last episode. South Australia are 4 for 137. We've taken the wicket of Jake Weatherald for 55. We've been bowling pretty well so far. We're 1 for 26 off 11. And uh, as I said, we're just going to pick ourselves up from where we left off uh, in the last episode. So let's... Start bowling some leg breaks towards Jakey Lehman. I believe it's Shane Kerber. I think it is. But we're just going to see how we go. Hopefully we can pick up a couple more wickets. And then we'll uh, we'll go from there. Hope you guys are all having a, a lovely day today. And thank you for those of you who tuned into my IPL stream uh, earlier... Well, was it last night I recorded this? I recorded this. I recorded the IPL stream last night. I've done a little bit of work towards this video yesterday. Yep. Uh, that is in the gap, and that's going to be four. Um, so, yes, I, I did the IPL stream yesterday, but I did, I think, some stuff for the video. I think I did the thumbnail for this video yesterday, so... Um, yeah, apologies for any confusion there. I am recording this on the 12th of May. Another double. I'm just going to take my ring off again because I always forget to do it when I'm recording. Because as you can hear, knocks up against my controller, which is can be quite annoying at times. So I've taken it off. It's sitting on the desk in front of me, so I won't forget it. Um, yep. Oh, that was lazy fielding. Whoever that was, 22 is that Maddinson. Let's get up near the stumps. Oh, they've gone for it. Ooh. So, seven off the first over. Not a good start by us. Let's get a bit of bounce into the mix here. Dot ball to end the 45th, 45th over. South Australia, four for 144. That is drinks. We're at the halfway mark of day one of this uh, first class fixture. Oh, a wicket's been taken. I did not even notice that. Uh, Lehman is out by James Pattinson. He got bowled for 20. Harry Nielsen is the next man in. Um, so we will hopefully get him out fairly soon as well. Because I wouldn't mind having a bat in this episode. Um, it looks like a good batting wicket. So I know we will bat eventually. But I wouldn't mind having a go sort of relatively soon. No, he's not really tempted by it at the moment. Is Harry Nielsen left-handed? I always thought he was right-handed. Another dot. Looking like it's going to be a maiden, even though I've just probably put the commentator's curse on me. Catch that! And commentator's curse. Commentator's curse, that's gone for four. Harry Nielsen's now on five. South Australia, five for 153. Catch, that's an identical shot to last time. That's going to go for four more. I think we need to go around the wicket to Harry Nielsen. He's just being a little bit more aggressive than I'd like. Let's pitch it a little bit wider. Let's see if we can... Let's go for a googly. Get it spinning away from him. Let's see what goes on there. Catch that! Oh, So he's been quite aggressive at the moment. We're bowling really wide. Which hopefully we can... Entice him to play a false stroke and get him out. We've been a little bit expensive this morning. One for 41 of almost 14 overs. 14... 13.4 overs. But this morning we've been like none for 15 of like two overs so quite expensive but Harry Nielsen is playing his shots short silly point there is just getting absolutely clobbered at the moment so I'm sorry whoever that is 
Catch. That's out of here. Nielsen's gone. We got another wicket. Yeah, rebounded off of short leg. Sorry, silly point. I always get those two mixed up. And caught by Marcus Harris, our good friend Marcus Harris. McAndrew is the next man in. Holland is bowling up the other end. Let's go around the wicket. No, let's let's stay over the wicket. Let's bowl nice and wide again. I think bowling nice and wide, getting them to drive is the is the right thing to do. And that's a play and miss, so a good start by us. I know with how wide we're bowling, it, it does take out LBW and it does take out bold. But, you know, stumping is at play, getting caught out is at play. So there's still plenty of ways we can get them out. Waiting. But we've obviously packed the field on the offside for lots of safety. So unless they start hitting over the top, which I don't think they'll do, we should be fine. Because I'm quite happy to bowl maiden after maiden after maiden, just building up that pressure. So I've got a plan and I'm sticking to it. Again, to uh, that forward point filter that we've got in place. Let's go for a googly to end the over. Give it a bit of flight as well. That's yeah. uh, pierced the gap and that's probably going to go for four. Unfortunately. Mm. That's a good shot though. We'll give him that. Um, do I get rid of... Let's change the field a little bit. I'm thinking we get rid of mid-off and sort of put them in like a sweeping position at deep cover point. Just so if the field, the batsman does pierce the gap in the field, we do have a man out on the boundary just who can... Who can stop that shot. Stop the ball going to the boundary rather is what I'm trying to say. He's left that alone, which is not at all surprising. I think he's sort of decided that there's no sort of point playing at these deliveries, so he's just going to let me bowl maiden after maiden, which I don't mind, as I said before. I hope you guys are all having a lovely, lovely day. Uh, put in the comments what you're doing today, what your plans are. My plans are to just record just today and then I'll stream later tonight. We'll do some cricket captain streams tonight. I know that was quite popular with you guys last week. So we're going to stream cricket captain tonight. We're going to continue on our New Zealand sort of career with the you guys as the players sort of thing that we've got going over there. If that sounds interesting, tune in at sort of 6.30, 7 o'clock tonight and we'll, uh, we'll be there waiting. That's a maiden over. I think it was a maiden anyway. Another maiden's been bowled. What's our economy? We're 2.81 runs and over. Five maidens bowled. We've probably been the pick of the bowlers so far. James Pattinson's probably been the next best. He's been a little bit more expensive than we have, even though he's got another wicket. Waiting. There we go. That's good fielding. What we like to see. More good fielding. This is good stuff. I might bring the ball a little bit closer. Go for the top spinner. Give it a bit of bounce. I think we're a chance for a wicket here. There we go. That's better. Get him playing on that forward defense for making it feel like he needs to play. <sighs> Playing a miss. Uh, I think we go for the googly, this delivery. Or the wrong one, depending on which one you call it. I'd sort of go in between the both. Another dot ball. We're building that pressure. It's what we like to see. Another maiden. South Australia, 6 for 171. Make that 8 for 184. McAndrew is still in and Grant is up the other end now. 
So they're out of designated batsmen. It's just the uh, the tail left now. I can feel a couple of wickets coming. That's well fielded. Might pitch it a little bit wider just because we don't have a mid-off in place. Not, oh, I stuffed up. There we go. There we go, that's why we've got that fielder. Good decision already. Now, I believe Grant's right-handed. He is. Okay. I think we might bring it in a little bit for Grant, because I don't think he's going to play too many shots. So we've got to make it feel like he needs to play. It's all right. Run rate's now below three for the whole team, which is good for us. Just the one off that over. South Australia, eight for 185. Eight for 186 now after that last over. Grant's gone 17 balls without scoring. And uh, McAndrew, not too far in front of him. He's 14 or 42. Well fielded. Well fielded indeed. Top spinner now. I'm on for a wicket. I can, I can feel it in my bones. Well played. He's played at it and that's what we get for not having a mid-off in place. That's probably more of a wide mid-off position, but... That's okay. We can live with that. We'll pitch it a little bit wider now. Wait there. Just because I don't want him to be hitting balls down the ground. So the wider we pitch it, the less likely he can hit down the ground. <sighs> there we go. Good finish to the over. South Australia, 8 for 190 now. Hopefully we can tidy the tail up fairly quickly. Wait. Well bold. Well bold, well bold, well bold. <sighs> There's a nick. There's no fielder back there. Can't really plan for that. Um, but that's that's what we want. That's the deal. We want them to nick it. Another plane miss. A wicket's coming. Usually if we get a couple of nicks, a wicket will follow. Usually that is the case. Another dot. Okay. Last ball of our 20th over. We're 254 currently. That's the end of the over. Just the four from it. Mitch Perry's come on to bowl. Still bowling at McAndrew. Still taking our time. Jeez, that... Forward point's getting a bit of a workout at the moment. But we, that's what we want them to keep playing that shot, because he will nick one eventually. Wait. This is good stuff. This is what we want. Wait. And if he pierces the gap, we've got that coverage on the boundary, so... It's a perfectly safe field to be bowling this line in length. Wait there. But yeah, Ford, Ford Point is getting an absolute workout at the moment. I must check who is at Ford Point, because I think Wait. they deserve a special mention. 
I think it's Marcus Harris would be my guess. Who is that forward point? Nick Maddinson. Well done, Nick Maddinson. Waiting. Another maiden. Eight for nine, 198. Two hundreds up for South Australia. Grant's on eight. McAndrews on 22. <sighs> Play and miss. That's what we like to see. New ball's 10 overs away. You'd probably say we're in the in the dominant position at the moment, but you never really know until both teams have batted how, how good the pitch is. So the pitch looks half decent. Um, we're probably, as I said, in in the good position at the moment, having South Australia eight for 203. If we can get them out for under 250, I'm going to call that a success. Waiting. Nick Madsen again, my hero. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can pick up another wicket fairly soon. With all these plays and misses, I'm starting, not getting impatient, but I wouldn't mind getting another wicket. I think that's five of those plays and misses in this, in this over. I've got a very itchy nose at the moment. It's really frustrating me. Uh, McAndrew. Still bowling at McAndrew. Still haven't bowled at Grant throughout his 41 ball colossus of an innings at the moment. Mm hmm. Alright. Wicket's coming. I can feel it. Yes, there it is. I called it. Finally got McAndrew. Finally got him. Just nip back onto his stumps. Brendan Doggett, last man in. South Australia, 9 for 207. Our figures are 354. Can we get a fourth? I wouldn't mind getting a fourth. Make us... Uh, our career best figures. We've gotten three wickets in each of our innings so far bowling. That's a wide. I reckon that's our first wide conceded in career mode as a bowler. Wait. So I couldn't get a wicket maiden, unfortunately. I was a little bit disappointed with that. But I guess that's what you get for bowling this line and length. One's you know, destined to go wide eventually. There's another play and miss. Alright, they are all out. We're not doing too bad with the bat. Collapsing a little bit. But looks like we're going to be in the lead. We're averaging... We haven't got an average yet because we haven't gotten out yet. We've got 174 runs without getting out. We are in the lead by 41 runs. We bowled them out for 226 in the end. Uh, Peter Hanscom started with the bat so far with 69 from 107 deliveries. Let's uh, put up a bit of fight with the with the bat, and that's a uh, a dot ball to end the 75th over. So we got Mitch Perry up the other end, having a bit of a run with the bat. He's five off 21. We'll leave that alone. Now, there is a gap through cover. Yep. But we'll just work it across to the leg side for now. The wicketkeeper just missed that. Harry Nielsen did a terrible job there. Um, now. Well played by us. I'm not really sure what the goal is with the bat here because I don't know how long Mitch Perry's going to last. And who's the next man in? John Holland, yeah. So if we can maybe get 20 runs, that'll be half decent. But I'm not really optimistic, I'll be honest. <laughs> not much down the ground, but we'll just work it across to the leg side. 
So I don't feel confident hitting it over the top with Warney's uh, batting attributes. So we'll uh, just have to wait and see what happens. There's no mid on in place. So if he pitches it up, which he doesn't, he, he does sort of, but it's on the offside, so we couldn't really work it across. Let, let's try and get this lead to 75. I think that's sort of a, a good spot for it to be. And now we're out. As soon as I say we're going to do ha half decent with the bat, we are gone for two. Serves me right for trying to cut a ball away that wasn't there. And South Australia, five for 92 at the moment. Um, I'm actually going to call it an episode here, guys. Uh, I think this is a good spot to call it. Uh, what is the state of the game? We're in the, sorry, the Redbacks are in the lead by 48 runs. I'm going to call an episode here, guys. So thank you so much for watching up to this point. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys at the stream later tonight. See you guys then.